guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little project pan update um this series is in collab with beauty by clh um courtney so i'll have her video linked down below as well as her channel and i'm so excited to see what kind of progress she's made because it has been about two months since we last posted an update so let's dive into it i changed some things around if you guys caught my last video i'll link it down below i'll link this whole series down below um, you probably know that I was feeling pretty frustrated, pretty just blah, and um, I knew I needed to make a change, so I cut down on the amount of products that I included in this project, um, and yeah, and I'm feeling a lot better about it now. So let's dive into the progress that I made in these products. So as I usually do, I will be inserting close-up swatches, or not swatches, but like close-up shots of all of these products so you guys can really see the progress because you can't see much from this far away. Um, but the first product I want to talk about is my Laura Geller Baked Blush. This one is in Tropic Hues. This is probably the product that I use the most faithfully um, because this is my absolute favorite blush. It's only within the past like week and a half or so that I've been using something else because I got some stuff in PR which was amazing. Um, I'm so grateful. But anyways, back to this blush. I've definitely been using this pretty regularly. Um, I would say four times a week at least. Um, six to seven times a week before I got those new blushes in so I've been using this quite a bit. The dome is definitely flattening out, but I've heard that baked products last like forever and ever and ever, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use this one up, but I am happy to make some progress on it. So yeah, we're in a pretty good place with that one. Ooh, let's talk about an empty, well something that I'm deeming empty. Um, and that is my NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. These are done in my eyes. There's a teeny, 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 teeny little bit of product left in there. I'm not going to do a product um, close-up shot on this one because it's just done. <laughs> it's dead. Um, I can't get any more out with my dropper. It's very hard to get some out with my dropper and this already smells kind of funky. So I'm just going to be done with this one. I'm going to recycle the bottle um, and be done with it. Ooh, another one that I'm making really great progress on is my Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I've been loving mixing this one in lately with my Flower Beauty Foundation or my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, I have made a little bit of progress on this, not as much as I thought I had, but a little bit of progress is better than no progress, and I think I'm definitely just going to continue to mix this with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation until it's gone. I'm trying to finish up this foundation before I buy a new one, so leave me your recommendations down below. I'm looking for something medium to full coverage from the drugstore that is also cruelty free, so if you have recommendations, put them down below. Now I want to touch on the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. This is something that I use all the time, you guys. I use it constantly when I'm filming or creating a look for Instagram. Um, and I have made some progress on this. Honestly, I thought I've made more, but I feel like it's still a pretty good chunk of progress. So I'm still happy with that. I'm going to continue to use it as kind of my filming foundation until I use it up. And then, adios. I've also been making really, really great progress with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one is just about gone. I feel like I could probably finish this up in the next month or two. Um, I've been mixing this concealer under my eyes to give it a little bit of hydration. Um, to tone down the brightness of my Naked Skin Concealer. I never thought I'd say this, but I think that one is too light for me right now. So yeah, I've really been enjoying kind of using this one. And I think as I get a little bit of a tan, this will work for like no makeup makeup days too. You guys. This next product is the brow pomade that won't die, and I'm talking about the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. I have been using this almost every single day, with exception for the past week, because I'm using a different brow product right now, because I need to take a little break from this. But I've used this almost every day for, I feel like at least six months by now, and this product just is hanging on by a thread. I think I might give it another month or two and then just call it done because before I was able to mix in a little bit of oil and the product would become a little bit more emollient but I'm wondering if it's because like it's all on the sides now this is like the outer layer if it's just like old and crusty because I feel like it's really gloopy and I have a hard time kind of controlling it on my brows so I'm gonna work with this for maybe another month or two and then I'm going to be done with it because it's old and gloopy I'm not enjoying it anymore I've made pretty steady progress with this Buxom um, Plump Line Lip Balm. This one's in the shade Flush. I'll insert a progress picture right here. It's just a really pretty nice berry shade. Um, but like I said, I've made pretty consistent progress. This is a really easy no fuss lip color, although I have been trying to use more of the lip products in my collection as of late. Um, I have my lipstick, or just, I'm sorry, no, it's just the Lip Games um, collab that I'm doing with Eyes of Alexandria. I'll link that down below if you guys want to check that out. But I've really been trying to kind of use more of my lip colors more frequently instead of just reaching for this one, which is great because I'm getting more use out of my lippies, but this one is getting less love. So 
I made some progress, but I didn't make a ton of progress. I made a very, very, very small amount of progress with my Smashbox um, Be Legendary lipstick. This one's in the shade Audition. It's a beautiful, like, pinky nude shade. I used it a handful of times, maybe 10 altogether. Um, I did have this in my work bag at one point, and I did find that I was reaching for it maybe like one extra time a day. I don't really reapply lip products throughout the day and I wanna get better at that because that's the only way I'm ever gonna get through any lip products. Um, but yeah, we're making progress with this. I'm not like rushing to get this out of my collection because I do really enjoy this shade. So I'm just gonna keep on using it and keep enjoying it. I am very, very proud of the progress that I've made with my Flower Beauty Blush Balm. You guys, I make a pretty good chunk of progress and I am very, very happy about that. I'm kinda of proud of myself for it. Um, I've been using this very consistently lately. I've been really loving layering cream and powder blushes and cream and powder bronzers lately. Um, and this one's just so no fuss, no muss. It's really, really easy to slap on even on busy mornings. I also made really, really great progress with my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Um, I have been working on this sucker for like almost a year at this point, it feels like. And I am almost done with it, you guys. I'm way, way down there. I feel like I have to, like, bend the tube to get any out anymore. So I expect this will leave my collection maybe in a month or two. I feel like if I was still using it daily, it would be less. But the weather's starting to warm up. My skin's starting to get a little bit more oily. So I'm not sure if this is quite the right primer for me anymore. And then finally, I did decide that I was going to keep my e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette in. Even if it's only just for this cream shade that I'm trying to pan and you guys I have a dip I have a bigger dip than I had last time and I've been working really hard trying to pan this shade yeah but that's all I've pretty much been using in this palette like I said having this palette in a project just makes me not want to reach for it and I just need a little break from it because I have so many other beautiful eyeshadows in my collection that I also want to love on so I feel like that was a very, very fast update, but I really cut down on the amount of products that I put in this project because I was just feeling overwhelmed and not excited about it at all. So yeah, I'm much happier with this amount of products. I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I have 11 down from 19 and I feel like that is so much more manageable for me. I'm enjoying doing this again. I'm so, so excited to see what progress Courtney made since it's been two months. Make sure you guys go check out her video and leave her some love, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!